The topic of bullying has been discussed a lot lately, and often it's the voices of former victims that are heard the loudest. This weekend in Carson City, members of the community gathered to help raise awareness to this growing epidemic. When you're going through it, it's one of the hardest things that you've ever gone through. Statistics show that one in every four children is the victim of continuous bullying. And those are the numbers that these activists in Carson City seek to change. It's always going to be there, but if we can, if we can bring as much awareness to it as we can and, and empower our kids, it's kind of the point of it today. The event featured guest speakers, t-shirts, and even pony rides. But in the end, organizers know it will take a lot more than balloons and bounce houses to help resolve this issue. People, people are afraid to talk about it. The schools are trying, but the schools can only do so much. You as a parent know your child better than anybody. So what can parents do to help bring an end to this problem? First, get to know the situation. You'd be amazed. Those kids are real brave when they're behind a computer keyboard or their phone. You can't get in their face and, be, you know, handle it like we did when we were young. The bullying has changed. It's not the same, and it's, not, it's, it's bad. So what are some tips to help parents deal with cyberbullying? One, monitor their use and tell them that if they are being harassed, they can always ask for help. Two, if your child is the one doing the bullying, establish strict consequences. And three, remind them that all online information can be made public. So while community events like these are still very important, it's clear that for real change to happen, parents need to learn what they as individuals can do to teach our kids that bullying is not acceptable in any way or any form. There's no reason for it, really. It just, it hurts everybody. Something's got to be done to stop it, and it's not just relying on the kid who's being bullied to tell, because they're not going to. Will Von Toggen, News 4.